which is another thing I really liked about your courses, no matter what time or day or whatever, I can always email you a, a question or problem I was having uh, trouble with. And, you know, within, on average, it was probably like a couple hours. I think the longest you ever took to respond to a question was probably 24 hours, 48 hours. So I thought it was great. <laughs> Hi, David. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, David, thanks a lot for making time for this interview and many congratulations on passing your PE exam. You're on a winning streak. Uh, you passed your FE exam late last year in 2021, correct? And then you enrolled in, uh, well, you got the bundle. You got the FE plus PE bundle, uh, the sale that I had on Black Friday. It was a pretty good deal. So you got into the PE right away in the New Year's. Um, and you attended my 12 week uh, life training program and you got the PE power exam done in the first attempt as well. So before we jump into any of that, I'd like you to give, you a little, give, uh, give us a little bit of background about your education, your career, what motivated you to get onto uh, passing the FE exam and then ultimately going all the way to the PE. Um, well, so I, went to the University of South Florida and I graduated in 2014 with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Um, and then right after that, I went ran into the military um, in the submarine force. So I did a, some engineering for approximately seven and a half years. Uh, and then once I, and during my time in the military, I also worked in my master's towards the tail end of it. Um, then once I got out, um, I decided that I wanted to pursue the PE. Um, so I started looking around September timeframe for programs. Um, I came upon your book. It had really good reviews. So I purchased it. Uh, I did all the problems. And then I was scheduled to take the exam in December. I started studying pretty hard around the October timeframe. You're talking about this book, right? Study Guide Correct. for Electrical. Yeah, that's the third edition of Study Guide for Electrical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but there, there were some topics in there that um, I, I could be able to solve the problems and look at the solutions, but I kind of wanted to get the concepts behind, like, why is the process, why do we solve it the way we do? So uh, I think it was Thanksgiving weekend, I saw um, that you were having a sale on your FE, PE bundle. So yeah, I thought it was a great opportunity. I was like, well, you know, I'm going to get my PE, so I might as well just get it all together. And that way I can brush up on some FE topics that I was having a a hard time wrapping my head around so when i purchased that i had about a month maybe three weeks of the the on-demand course for fe and i i read um i viewed them at like two times speed for the topics that i was you know pretty confident i just wanted to brush up on and then some of the harder topics like the computer uh engineering portion that those are the ones i you know repetitively viewed a couple times to try to get a grasp on it uh, and then i took it second week of December and I passed uh, and then started pursuing the PE um, study. All right. So I want to stop you there, uh, David. Uh, you're a mechanical engineer, right? And you jumped into FE electrical. Why is that? And PE power well, eventually. Well, um, to be honest with you, I really didn't do too much mechanical engineering with after I graduated because I went straight into the military and the type of engineering I did was mostly general, some nuclear, some electrical, some okay. instrumentation and control. So it, it was mostly, you know, a mixed bag of, of, of disciplines in there. So, so I did, did do some electrical engineering. I did some mechanical, um, but I, I was always drawn to, to the electrical engineering discipline. And my plan actually was to pursue a master's in electrical engineering, uh, but there was a special program for my engineering management uh, master's. So I pursued that instead because it fit my time, uh, time window before I separate from the military. Yeah. That's but very I, impressive that the, the reason I bring this up is because you can go on online forums and, you know, talk to people who are preparing for that electrical exam. And even the guys who have background guys and girls who have background in electrical engineering find it tough, right? The electrical exam is actually one of the more difficult exams. Uh, it appears 
uh, from some of the other FE exams. So yeah, it's it's quite impressive that with a mechanical background and some hands-on electrical instrumentation and controls experience, and with a pretty rapid uh, exam preparation timeline, compressed exam preparation timeline, you were able to make it happen. And then you got the bundle and then dived into the PE power in January, 2022. And in January, 2022 of this year, I launched my 12 week live training component on top of the on-demand PE power program as well. And I believe that you had a hundred percent attendance. I don't remember if you missed even a single class. So how was that experience? Um, I definitely liked the live portion of it. Um, I actually completed the on-demand prior to the live uh, portion starting. Um, but I would always, I would review the on-demand prior to the, the live classes on the weekend. And it, it kind of helped because I would review the on-demand portion and, and make notes of topics or concepts that I didn't understand or wanted further uh, explanation on. And then when we would review it in over the weekend for on the live class, I would be able to you know bring it up, ask questions and get a more in-depth, you know, understanding of it, which was yeah. good. And, and some of the concepts on PE power, again, David, just piggybacking on my previous comment, uh, are very intense concepts, okay? A lot of power systems engineers like symmetrical faults, uh, fault analysis, per unit systems, grounding, uh, NEC code, NESC, you know, these are all very specialized concepts and that makes the PE power exam a lot more interesting, valuable as well. Uh, the failure rate, rate tends to be much higher than FE electrical. But again, with your mechanical engineering background, how were you able to, within roughly a f uh, three to four month timeline, how were you able to sort of absorb all of that and then pass the exam in the first attempt? Well, um, pretty much dedicated myself to the PE for four months straight. Um, I took it really seriously. Like you said, I didn't have a, a traditional electrical background. Um, so I, I figured I just had to work, you know, just that much harder. Um, so I took it pretty seriously. I would say I probably averaged probably four to six hours of studying a day. And then oh. on the weekends did the, did the online course. And then Sundays I would take off, of course, um, right. besides the, besides the, the live the class. classes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very impressive. And this is a level of commitment, to be honest, that you have to have. Okay, uh, if you want to get this done in the first attempt. Now, I, I, I know, especially if you're coming off from FE, the high of passing the FE exam sometimes uh, makes you uh, a little bit overconfident. Okay, generally speaking, students, and they try to sort of carry that same theory of preparing at a high level or maybe just knowing the handbook or the plug and play formulas. But Whenever I have one-on-one -on -one conversation with my students, which I have with every single student who enrolls in my PE and FE program. So at that at the PE stage, even if they have recently passed the FE, I just try to bring them to reality that, you know, this is a different ball game altogether. It's a much more difficult exam, a lot more in-depth, and you really need to get a good hold of, you know, the fundamental concepts and be able to build on multiple concepts, right? So that's, and, and to do that, you have to put in the time and effort. You can be enrolled in a good exam preparation course. You can have the best study guides, best practice exams, but if you're not putting in the time and effort, none of those things are really going to matter. Yeah, and I, I really try to avoid that trap. I, I've you know read about people's experience with that. They fall into that trap where they think they can just you know get the surface layer understanding for topics like they did for the FE. You know, because the FE is kind of a sprint, but the the P is kind of it's a marathon. You know, and you can't you have to get that in depth. Um, understanding of each individual topic because they can throw curveballs at you. you it's know? not a marathon, man. It's, it's, a, it's an Iron yeah. Man. It's an Iron yeah, Man yeah, yeah. Uh, triathlon. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I still remember the days when I, but the funny thing is, and again, David, you, you're, you, you feel free to comment uh, or mention your, uh, like share your opinion. I find that the PE power exam preparation is a lot more interesting as compared yes. to electrical. Yes, I, I would agree with that 100%. There was some topics on the FP that I just like, I really don't want to learn this. I have no interest in it, but I know I have to to pass it. But for the PE power, you know, even even some topics that really aren't, don't really pertain to what, what I do now, they were still interesting because, you know, down the line, I could be, you know, in that field or or have to, exactly. know, you know, have to know about it, you know, just because 
the discipline of electrical engineering, it is what it is. Like protection and 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 realize, you know, I, I really don't deal with that on a daily basis, but I, it's an important topic to for every electrical yeah. engineer to understand. It's it's given you a different perspective to things. Now, David, you also use the study guide for PE powers second edition, right? Correct. I actually started off with the first edition, uh, did all the problems, and then uh, your second edition came out. So I was like, oh, I need to get that. <laughs> So I went through those problems as well. So what's your what's your opinion of this book? Oh, I thought it was great. Um, I like the way it sequentially gets, you know, a little bit, each problem set in each section gets a little bit harder and harder, or not a little bit more difficult and it builds upon itself uh, right. to really get that foundation of the, of the topics. Right. And why would you recommend uh, the P Power course, the on-demand course plus the live training component to other students? I personally liked it because it gets to the core basic understanding of each topic. You know, we, you, you do a good job deriving each equation and why it, the equations are what they are and where they come from and any assumptions along with that, you know, instead of just being, okay, you go to a reference manual page 27, this is the equation, you know, when they give you a problem like this. And I, I don't learn that way, but other people might learn that way. I, I kind of like to understand the, uh, you know, the theory behind it and wh where the equations are derived from. And the live training component, you were one of the first few particip participants uh, for this year's live training component. Uh, what did you like about that? I like the fact that, you know, we would, you would review through throughout the week, the on-demand or do the work problems. And then if you had any problems or questions, we would email them to you throughout the week. And then you would address them in your live class. So for everybody to, um, to see, you know, because I probably wasn't the only one that had trouble with a certain problem. Oh, no. well, you, so, yes. so other people might have it, but they might, you know, not got to it yet or emailed yeah. it to you or something. Oh, like might that. not so ask. Really, Some people are yeah, shy or, as well. <laughs> yeah, that's that too. Um, which is another thing I really liked about your course is no matter what time or day or whatever, I can always email you a, a question or a problem I was having uh, trouble with, and you know, within on average, it was probably like a couple hours. I think the longest you ever took to respond to a question was probably 24 hours, 48 hours. So I thought it was great. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I know when my students are taking the exam and I prioritize accordingly, I knew that as soon as the 12 weeks were ending, uh, you were one of the first few students who were, stay, were taking the exam. So I prioritized that. And typically within 24 to 48 hours, I try and respond to every single query. So once again, uh, many congratulations, David, on this wonderful achievement. Um, within a jam-packed, I would say, five to six-month period or seven-month period, you know, you got your FE done, you got your PE done, and now you're all set. You're a licensed professional engineer, mm -hmm. and uh, the sky is the limit. And this effort that you've put in, the hard work that you've put in, is going to pay dividends down the road for years to come, right? It will open many different opportunities for you. And you will look back and thank your former self, your old self, uh, for the for for the uh, initiative that you took and the uh, hard work that you did. And obviously, uh, all uh, with everything, el uh, everyone else who supported you, right? So it's not a one-man show. I'm pretty sure that you had a support system. She said that you really bogged down over these di like several months. So your family members, your friends must have assisted you. Even maybe at work, people would have assisted. Um, so yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Wasim. Uh, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help either. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Thanks.